What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we focus in on our uh, University of North Dakota defenseman uh, Derek Forbit, uh, the United States World Junior Team, uh, first round pick of the LA Kings back in 2010, uh, product of the National Team Development Program, uh, six foot five, 200 pounds, out of uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, a little background on Mr. Uh, Forbit. Uh, the year is U18 year on the development team. They're absolutely stacked uh, on the blue line. Uh, himself and Jared Tenoy both went in the first round in 2010. Uh, that same draft, Stephen Johns, Justin Folk, and uh, John Merrill all went in the second round. And uh, the next year, Adam Clendenning went in the second round. Uh, Clint's birthday kind of fucked him over in the 2010 draft, but uh, still went high. Um, like I said, huge defenseman at six foot five. Played on last year's World Junior team and went pointless in six games. I look for him to improve that this year and uh, really use his size to his advantage. He's got a blistering shot from the point and uh, had 15 assists last year for the University of uh, North Dakota as a freshman, which is obviously very, very impressive. Uh, this year, not as much success. He's got a goal and three three assists in uh, 18 games, which really doesn't put him on the, the pace he was on last year. Um, you know, He's going to sure up his game a little bit. Uh, North, North Dakota struggled this year at times. I know, bad, bad hair day. But uh, North Dakota struggled at times this year, uh, actually most of the time this year. And, uh, you know, they're not having the type of season that the, the Fighting Sioux are accustomed to. But, um, you know, he's tremendously skilled. I mean, at 6'5", I mean, you, you're, you know, size is, you know, gives you a leg up on the competition, so to speak. Um, you know, he's almost like a Tyler Myers of sorts, where he's just a big defenseman that can move the puck very well. He plays a adept physical game, too. He can, he can lay you out, you know. And it's, like I said, he's got a huge shot from the point, which... Uh, that's what you need, you know, to generate uh, offense on the power play, which uh, he's adept at, amongst other things. Um, you know, probably preeminent two-way defenseman who reaches a show, you know, a guy that'll put up 40 points a year, you know, kill penalties and be a dominant force in your own zone at six foot five, and you're forcing so many guys wide and, uh, you know, getting shooting lanes and just doing, the, you know, stuff like that. His skating ability is second to none, as is the case with almost all defensemen off the development team. You know, the skating's there. Uh, if, not, if nothing else is there, and uh, everything is there with this kid. He's a full package. Um, I want to call him the planet, because that, that's how Ally Afraidy's a high distinction. Um, but he's he's pretty damn near close to an all-world defenseman uh, in his projections, I think. You know, like I said, I don't think his numbers reflect his talent. I think Dakota um, has really been underachieving this year. Uh, you know, they're not having any type of year. I don't think we'll see them in Tampa this year at the Frozen Four. But, um, you know, he's tremendously skilled, and he's huge. You know, that's what more do you need? Um... Like I said, I think he's going to be much more physical than Tyler Myers. Um, you know, Tyler's more of a, you know, stick check, poke check, uh, stuff like that. But uh, four bit will lay you out, and I like that. You know, when you, when you get that aspect to your game, that just totally changes the way teams going to play against you, you know. And, he, you know, he does so many different things well. Um, you know, he's going to increase his upper body strength and, um, you know, work on his puck handling a little bit. That's, you know... He's six or five. It doesn't really give you the best advantage when it comes to stick handling, but uh, I gotta I gotta see what you can do. I like you gotta fill out his frame. You know, probably put around like twenty pounds of muscle. Um, you know, and like I, I mean, that comes with time. He's nineteen years old. You know, I think he's gonna be the U.S. best defenseman on this tournament for sure. Um, he's playing on the first pairing, and I mean, as he should be. You know, he's he's that good. He's an all-world defenseman that really does everything well. Uh, so you don't see a lot of these days, and. Uh, you know, he's, he's a highly athletic kid. He had the, uh, I think, biggest wingspan in the draft. Yeah, he did his draft year. Um, you know, he, and he's high hockey IQ, which is obviously what you need. I'm just reading a scouting report here. I've seen him play myself. I saw him play on the development team. Uh, two year, when they when that team was together, and like I said, that blue line was unbelievable against BU. Uh, you know, they, lo they lost 3-2 to BU playing against guys that are, you know, four, five, sometimes six years older than them. You know, they gave BU all they could handle, and uh, Ford was great out there. I think him and Tenority, you know, both stood out for being uh, being you know, six foot five, and or I mean, he's six five and Tenority six seven. So I mean, you had uh, the twin towers on the back end that uh, you know really, you know, ready for prime time. You could tell they were destined for stardom at that age, and obviously, you know, that was October two thousand nine. You know, six nine months later, I couldn't figure. In June of two thousand ten, you saw them, you know, go high in the draft. And I was not the least bit surprised. You know, like I said, that was a great de great team, the development team I had that year. You know, I'm looking at the guys that are playing at the high level. I mean, Justin Fulks are in the NHL. You know, Saad played two games for the Blackhawks this year. Uh, Campbell was a first-round pick. 
you know, a lot of guys went in the second round. It was amazing. So, you know, another guy off USA Hockey's National Team Development Program that's really, you know, and I, I think he's got a little bit of a long shot, but I think uh, if he can, I don't think he'll be on the 2014 team. I just, I, I think he just, he needs this year at Dakota, and then depend upon what the Kings want to do with him. Uh, if he needs a year in Manchester, the AHL, or back at Dakota, you know, you never know. Um, you know, LA is obviously a team that well, they, they're blue line stacked. You know, Dowdy, Jack Johnson, Skidari, uh, Davis Trubisky, guys like that. Uh, and Voinov, who's had a great year. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited. You know, I like seeing guys that I saw play when they were younger make it to the show. Um, you know, it's really a sign of validation. You know, and it's just another great thing that USA Hockey's done in producing quality hockey players and quality NHLers. Uh, that's it for the Power Players CJ Prospect Profile on uh, Derek Forbit of the University of North Dakota Fighting Sioux. I hate that they're gonna drop that. that. That's really. I'm not a Sioux fan, but I'm a college hockey fan, and I love the you know the Sioux, the best logo I think in college hockey too. Be by the way, but uh, that's it for this episode, boys and girls. See everyone later, and stay tuned for more episodes throughout the tourney. Let's go USA.